Our first reading is from the letter to the Romans, chapter 4, verses 20 through 25. We must believe in him who raised Jesus our Lord from the dead. Since God had made him a promise, Abraham refused either to deny it or even to doubt it, but drew strength from faith and gave glory to God, convinced that God had power to do what he had promised. This is the faith that was considered as justifying him. Scripture, however, does not refer only to him but to us as well when it says that his faith was thus considered. Our faith too will be considered if we believe in him who raised Jesus our Lord from the dead. Jesus who was put to death for our sins and raised to life to justify us. Responsorial Psalm from Luke, chapter 1, verses 69 through 75. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior. In the house of David his servant. As he promised by the lips of holy man those who were his prophets from of old. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people, a Savior who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled, and his holy covenant remembered. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people. He swore to Abraham our father, to grant us that free from fear and saved from the hands of our foes. We might serve him in holiness and justice, all the days of our life in his presence. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people. Alleluia, Alleluia. Teach me your paths, my God. Make me walk in your truth. Alleluia. A reading from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 12, verses 13 through 21. Fool, this very night your soul will be demanded of you. A man in the crowd said to Jesus, Master, tell my brother to give me a share of our inheritance. My friend, he replied, who appointed me your judge or the arbitrator of your claims? Then he said to them, watch and be on your guard against avarice of any kind. For a man's life is not made secure by what he owns, even when he has more than he needs. Then he told them a parable, there was once a rich man who, having had a good harvest from his land, thought to himself, What am I to do? I have not enough room to store my crops. Then he said, This is what I will do. I will pull down my barns and build bigger ones, and store all my grain and my goods in them. And I will say to my soul, My soul, you have plenty of good things laid by for many years to come. Take things easy, eat, drink, have a good time. But God said to him, Fool, this very night the demand will be made for your soul. And this hoard of yours, whose will it be then? So it is when a man stores up treasure for himself in place of making himself rich in the sight of God. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. If you haven't already, supporting our channel is as easy as subscribing to our channel and hit the bell icon so you can be the first to know when we release new videos. If you like our content, please consider sharing it with your friends. Until then, stay blessed and spread the word in your actions.